Yeah, look, I am a bit concerned why I'm bowling. Does Victoria no, not have any bowlers? We have at least four, though. What do we got? We got Siddle, Boland, and Tremaine. And Macintosh. And, you know, I guess I'm the lead spinner. I guess if they do want to bowl spin, they have to bowl myself or Maxwell. And I guess if Maxwell's the captain, which I'm not sure if he is. Maybe Wade's the captain in this game anyway. Oh, catch that opportunity! No. Oh! There is an inside edge onto the pad. Very unlucky not to just bob up. The man at short leg. Oh, and that could have been a catching chance if I was any good in the field. Oh, yeah, boy! Leonard goes the big shot and I get the breakthrough. Tasmania won for 78. Top of off. Just hit the top of off. That's what they tell you to do. What things I do? Hit the top of off. I knew if I just kept bowling enough, we we're gonna find a way. Doherty in. Oh! And shipped almost. Oh, catch it! Run out! Ah! Oh, this bloke was at half a chance at catching this ball. Toss it up outside off, maybe get an edge. It's too straight, too straight. Be patient. Keep bowling it there. Eventually he's gonna crack, you see. Oh, Doherty is all over it. All over the shop. He's got no idea what's gonna hit him. Consistent bowling, line and length. Oh, how is it? It's close. And a maiden. One for 82. Oh, catch it! Not out. Closing in on the end of the day's play. I've bowled 7.1 overs, taken one for 24 and 25 now. What are we at here? How many overs left in the day? It's just as a 65 and a half overs. This is a day nighter. It must be. Pretty sure that is a pink ball we're using. Oh! Oh, there it is! Another wicket! That's two! Matty Wade takes the catch. Jordan Silkwood apart for this 15. My goodness, his eyes are beaming. Carlos Walker to the crease. As well as Jewel. Tell you what, I've come in the bowl and I've actually delivered. This is the first time I've probably bowled in a shield game for a while. My bowling had been feeling quite good. Throughout the big bash, so I thought I'd give it a small crack here. What have I bowled? 8.2 overs. And taken a couple of wickets, so that's pretty good. Really, you know, they, they put me in the number three position. They said, all right, I'll give you a crack. Or maybe I'm the captain, so maybe I put myself in at number three. I don't even know. It's probably something I did myself and, and thought, oh, no, the game did that. Probably didn't do that. Probably didn't trust me. But I was, maybe I am the captain of the ship. I think I am. Ooh. Looking for that outside edge. Quick single, it's tight. And another wicket is scored. He's got three. The outside edge of the set man in jewel. And I've got three wickets. Oh, what a start this has been with the ball. Tasmania six for 177. Still 250 odd behind. Oof, tell you what. Come in, I've delivered. The front line spin up as an all round, a batting all rounder in this Victorian side at number three. Eat your heart out, Manus Labouchain. I am the all rounder the Aussies are looking for. Jeez, if only it was caught. Would have been a fourth. And I'll tell you what, I'm a sneaky chance for five if I can have one of these two now because the. All of a sudden, Tasmania in all sorts. This has been my best performance with the ball for a while. Let alone in a Sheffield Shield match. 
Oh, end of the over. All from it. Six for 182. Going around, then we get to the right handed Faulkner. I reckon I need a man under the hood. It's a fractionally better of a decision. Outside the line, outside the line. And that is the end of the session. Three wickets in the t in the meantime. The wicket of Leonard Jewell and Jordan Silk. And we see we've we've taken about six for a hundred in that time period. Obviously there were none for seventy-eight, that opening pair, but all of a sudden it's come good. The Vicks lead it by two hundred and forty-four runs with Tasmania. Still with two more sessions to bat. Peter Siddle will come into the attack and Tasmania. We've enforced the follow on two. I'm not sure how. I thought you had to be 200 runs behind to enforce the follow on. Of course, we've done it with uh, a lead of 187. They now lead by. We now lead by just 140, and all of a sudden, Tasmania 3 for 47 in all kinds of strife. I'm in the ball. Oh, gee, the men are in short. I just want them to, to block one or try and pull one, and it just goes. Gets a wicket. Gets a snag. Basim Leonard. What a name. Dismissed him in the first innings. Oh, jeez. The man with the 95 on it. Short leg. That's going to hurt. That's another session down. With a T session. Still 136 behind. Maybe it's not a day-nighter. Maybe it was just overcast. Look at all the men I've got around the bat, though. Ooh. Yeah, great nut. Yeah, nice Wadey. Can he give me a nice carry? Yes. Oh, catch it! And he's got him at bat pad! There it is! Alex Doolin will go. Peter Siddle on man in the helmet. Takes the catch. That's the first genuine one I think I've got. Oh, that is just a bit of quality bowling. I dragged it down late to the... Uh, Leg side by just a fraction. And Doolin just straight onto the pads. And Siddle says thank you very much. Four wickets in this match so far from me. And Silk is in. Oh. He's going to hit me for four. I need men around the ball again. Whatever that last field was, it was genius. Oh, I love these men in close. They're doing their work. Into the over. Ricket came from it. Tassie 4 for 55. Siddle back in to the attack. Another wicket falls. This time it was Leonard. Tasmania now 5 for 65. And they still trail by 130 odd. Oh, that could be a catch. That could be a wicket. What's it hit? Maybe it's hit his wrist or something. Definitely two noises. I want to know what they were. The first one was pad. What was the second one? Ah, uh, sort of his... Uh, I think it was his shirt, maybe. Yeah. Oh, Tasmania, they're not looking good at this stage. They trail by five runs. But they just have three wickets in hand. Faulkner is one of those. And, oh! If that had just bobbled in the air a fraction longer. That an inside edge onto the pad. No, it was just all pad. It was all pad. This is the feel that... It just looks threatening. With so much pressure on the man! So, a couple of things here. Almost a stumping chance. Was there a bit of glove? Oh, there was! But did it carry? No! So that's what the two noises I heard were. Add then glove. What are they now? Eight down? Eight down with a four-run lead. And again, I, they changed my field. I specifically set the ridiculous around the bat to everyone, and yet say no. Nah. Oh. Mate, I have been bowling supremely well in this, uh, this whole match. That's going to be another boundary, I reckon. Like, my economy's not what bugs me, it's... Actually, nothing bugs me. It's the wickets column is all I'm after. We have plenty of those. 
There's no real stress. We've uh, taken four already. We'd love one more, and then we'd love our batsmen to just finish off the job and get those 16 runs relatively quickly, or however many it is. Hopefully it's less than about 30. Oh. I've got to, I've got to do my uh, best in our Coley. Oh. <laughs> every ball, every ball. Yes, nice bowling. Come on, lads. Come on, lads. Come on, lads. Yep. Oh, there you go. This lead is now 26. I said we didn't really want to be chasing more than 30. I mean, 30 is not really a big score anyway. Even if we have to chase down 60, I'm not too fussed. But I just want to get this over and done with out of the way. Come on, take me out of the attack, please. Chuck someone else in. Get them to finish the job. They have done. It's a 75-run chase. And Marcus Harris and Travis Dean have done the work. Player of the match for my 100 alongside four wickets. Three in the first innings. Really just turned the game on the head. Didn't I? Didn't I? I really did, didn't I? Victoria with a 10-wicket victory after 15.2 overs chase down that 75. Cruising to a victory, and a Sheffield Shield Masterclass. All right, so we are just about ready to go into our next first-class game. Yeah, we are the captain of the Shield, so obviously we're going to be picking the side. Did we make any improvement here? I don't think we did in terms of our selection status, but, you know, probably going to need to be a couple more good performances to get us back well and truly into that. But Victoria, 7 and zip at the moment under my leadership. Two first-class matches left for the season. See how we go.